in peace, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the OAPC College University. In my previous video, Extinction of Humans, um, I did a breakdown about the creation and age of man. So today's topic, I'm going to be talking about the creation and age of man. Every human being born in this world, at one point of their life, had some type of thinking in your mind or something comes up in your mind who were the first men on earth in our world and they also must have taught in their mind in their soul in their spirit how old are we humans so today i'm going to use the oapsi college or uh, university using the uh, oapsi bible to decode this now first thing if the bible that you read or your spiritual book that you read for inspiration doesn't give clarity about this you're reading and studying the wrong book no different than a gps in your car if that gps of today does not meet with the science and technology of today with the latest google map or the latest map satellite you get lost wherever you try to go no matter where you go, you're going to always get lost. That's because that GPS is not updated. So if your Bible does not meet up with the standard of science and technology, then that Bible is not updated and you're always going to get lost. You're going to lose out because you're retrieving and always constantly getting the wrong information because it's old now they will actually meet up with the science and technology of today and one tool that you can use is arithmetic or mathematics everybody or uh, at some point in their life went to school either you went to uh, grammar school elementary school secondary school high school college university they taught us mathematics basic math now they all actually meet up with science and technology and at the end of this video i'm going to use math to show something but today's topic was creation of man how old are we in this world we humans and when exactly precisely were we created were humans created uh, that will be what i will be discussing today from the oap College university so first thing is i'm going to go to the book of jehovah chapter 6 verse 11 and 18. verse 11 after samu i made man and man was only like a tree now if you look at the the photo right beside what i'm reading from you clearly see how man looked back then you know the race of asu known as adam uh the bible called them adam or perhaps it gave a description saying they are asu aswans this is a race of human not one person now not one man the christian bible wrong they say it's one man but it was a race of people called adam now verse 11 out of semu out of semu i made man and man was only like a tree but dwelling in ark and i called him asu you see that verse 18 but those who had never learned corporal things being imperfect in wisdom did not understand jehovah's word and they dwell with aswans and were tempted and partook of the fruit of the tree of life and lo behold they saw their own nakedness and there was born of the first race a new race called man interesting so verse 18 is telling you how man came about in verse 11 it says out of semu semu is a substance that the creator dropped on our world in order to bring forth humans at that time now a perfect description is a woman who is pregnant inside that womb you could call it semo the reason why is because 
she carries her baby for nine months. And during that nine months, the baby receives substance from the mother. When the mother feed, when the mother eat, the baby receives substance. So you could call that semu. Because the baby during that time is receiving a substance. Now, one question might come up before I go further was that during semu, when men were created, was there a possibility of them be able to procreate? Now, I have a question too. When woman is pregnant and carrying a baby, can that baby procreate? The answer is no. So, um, let me go further. This is the verse 18. is very interesting. It tells you the angels were down on earth and because they were imperfect in wisdom and they did not understand Jehovah's words, they dwell with the Aswans. As you can see, they dwell with Aswans and were tempted. And they were told not to eat. They were told not to partake in the uh, fruit of tree of life. Basically, they were told not to have sex with the Aswans. And to read on, there was born of a false race, out of the false race, a new race called man. Let's pause for a minute. This is where, this is what's important, the creation of man. Because when you look at this picture of our swans, I'm sorry, this cannot be man. You know? I mean, because he clearly, you can see from this picture, this guy, this Asu, this race of Asu, they look like a tree. You see? So, when exactly was the creation? When did man get created? As you can see, the also gives you the bottom line in verse 18. There was born of the first race a new race. So in other words, the race of angels, the host of angels had sex with the Asuans. And they came for another race. So the Asuans now gave birth. The Asuans now gave birth to a new race called man. And Jehovah took earth out of the travels of Semu. You see that? So during Semu, Asus, human beings can be created. In other words, they get the comfort during that time. So creation of human beings keep on coming up during the time of Semu. But as soon as the angels have sex with the Asuans, you see what it says there? Jehovah, Jehovah took the earth out of the travel of Semu and the angels gave up their corporeal body. Interesting. Um, yeah, it shows you that the new race called man was given, uh, what came forth during the time of uh, during the uh, period of Semu, um, OIPC gave a length of Semu of 6,000 years. Um, and during that time, the humans were being created, so they just, you know, comfort, broom, they comfort, broom, 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 during those times. But not all of them survived, though, because remember that. Semu, the substance, you know, oxygen, water, heat, nitrogen, whatever you want to call it, whatever the creator used to create humans called Semu back then, was coming down. Just think about it that, you know, you have every snow coming down. Same way, coming down. So you got snow coming down in the state of New York, for example and you know and then uh as as you we you I got after that you get six feet of snow and people can't come out you know uh it's equivalent you know that's symbol just think of something dropping down from the sky you know or you hell you know uh even fire you know that's an example just give an analogy though um uh, and What's interesting here is he says Jehovah took the earth out of the travel of Semo. Now, this is critical though. If the angels did not have sex with the Asuans, 
the same way we still continue because you still need humans to keep on coming forth. But as soon as this was done, there was no reason for Semu because you don't need because Semu, you know, during that time it's called digest. That's that's during the time that human um assurance were coming out. This was not when they were having sex, though. Let's not get it wrong. But as soon as the angels had sex with them, they came they uh Semu stopped. So I'm gonna use uh, in the next chapter I'll give timelines of when exactly were humans created, was who were the first race of human? What, what what year exactly did the first race of humans come down and when did Semu stops and started and then when did they exactly stop so I'm going to go to um, to the next chapter uh, the book of uh, Kazmagani and prophecy chapter 5 verse 20 to 21 and I'm not going to um, read everything I'm just going to go to the last session part where in verse 20 all the way down where it says 76 750 years the time of the same one age for man and to this should be added one cycle a cycle is equivalent of three thousand years or say three thousand years which was the beginning of the fall of semu so what this is saying is that the Semu started 79,750 years. Now, if you go to verse 21, and I'm not gonna, I'm not going to uh, read the entire verse. I'm just gonna go to the last part. You can go to the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter 5, verse 20 to 21, to read this. But I'm just picking up the information I actually need uh, to show you when humans was created in our world. And when the first race of man came forth. So during the fall of Semu, I don't think at that time humans will be surviving. Because once they come up, some of them will still be dying because Semu is still coming down. In verse 21, all the way down to the down to the uh, down to the bottom, for which reason the force of the race of man on earth began about 78,000 years before Cosman. Uh, the way you calculate Cosman, uh, BK, is using the year 1848 and just count backwards. So they're telling you 78,000 years was when the force of the race of man came about. Now, you might say, what does that really mean? Remember in the previous chapter, in the previous chapter where it says the book of Jehovah chapter 6 verse 18, in that verse 18 it says, Jehovah was born of the first race, a new race called man, and Jehovah took the earth out of the travel of Semu, and the angels gave up their corporal body right there. That's the timeline, 78,000 years. So around that time was when the angels had sex with a uh, race of Asu and they came up with a new race called man, in which Rapsi later on described as the irons. That's the key word. Now, let's recap what did we learn from the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter 5. So from verse 20, to 21 we learned that 79 79,750 years ago Semu started Simu started you know what Simu was coming down you see that and 78,000 years was when the force of the race of man came and finally in that same verse 20 to 21 76,750 years was when Stemu stopped. You see? So, in the book of Cosmogony, chapter 5, verse 20 to 21, we learn a lot. This is the critical point, and yet it gives you a summary. I love Orasi so much because you can use timeline to determine stuff. 
You see? But when you read the other Bibles of today, you cannot use timeline to determine stuff. Um, and just to just to uh, see if truly what's going on with what they gave around the time is is accurate, right? Before I even go there, you know, uh, seventy nine thousand years, same who started. 78,000 years is when the force of the race of man came out. So, we humans, if you were to really look at it, some people might say humans came 79, you, we humans are 79,000 years old. That's fine with me. If you say humans are 78,000 years old, according to the Wapsi, that's okay by me. If you say they're 76,000 years old, that's okay by me. Um, so I'm going to go uh, in the next, now I'm going to come up, or uh, I came up with a summary. And the reason I did it is, like I said earlier, if your book does not meet up with the arithmetic, the, the tool of today, which is the science and technology of today, that book, you need to go throw that book in the garbage. If you can't throw it in the garbage, do me a favor, dump it in the toilet. The OFC meet the criteria and it still stands today because it's, it's an accurate book. So, now what I did was, I used the Microsoft Excel maths. And I plug in all the circles down from 1848. And I got to 73,370 for the act of one, right? So... If you put 6,000 years for the Semu period, you get 79,370. Now remember, OMC gives the figure of 7, 79,750. Microsoft Math, Microsoft Math, Microsoft Excel, if you have that software, it gives a timeline of when Semu started at 79,370. This is interesting. So, if from OMC figure, if I minus 6,000 from 79,750, I get 73,750. When the act of one started, when Sentities became the god of our world. So, this is accurate. So, what OMC is giving is accurate. I only have a diff using the Microsoft math based on what OMC give, I only have a 380 years difference. Because all you got to do is just minus 73,750 minus 73,370, you get 380 years. Now, I found a, 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 um, an OAPC website where I used to go back in the days, but for some reason that website is no longer um, operating. So I don't know what the situation is with the website, but luckily for me, I had a chat. And then in, the, in that chart, you could clearly see in the zero circle right there, it says 73,000 years before, before Kasman. That's when the act of one also started. So, Olapsi, again, still meet up with a man because somebody came up with his chart. And they went, they went all the way down to 73,000 years before Kasman as the act, the act of one. So, this is perfect. And I have to say, one more time, OAPC is uh, meet up with the science and technology of today with no problem, without sugar coating. And I cannot believe it, you know. It's interesting, you know. Interesting, very interesting. I, I, I love OAPC, I have to say, because, you know, it meets up with the standard of uh, the science and technology of today. I love it. You know, again, if your if if the if if your if the Bible of today does not meet up with your standard, I tell you, I'll be honest. Take that book. I don't know what you're gonna learn from that Christian Bible that that talks about humans that the Creator created humans in one day. It makes no sense. I don't understand. That doesn't make sense to me because, you know, when you look at the signs of today, women 
it takes them nine months to give birth. I don't know. But I tell you, the OFC is clear and dry. And uh, without sugar coating, it meets up with the science and technology of today. I use Microsoft Math and I came up with 79,370. That's when CM started. That's when the substance to create human beings at that time was used. You know, after Semu stopped, Semu, according to Apsi, stopped 76,750 years ago because um, the angels had access to their sons, so Semu got to stop. But right after Semu stopped, of course, they could start, you know, um, that's when they started, you know, having sex with each other. But um, what amazes me is that I have not seen any spiritual book that gives detailed account of how old we humans were and when exactly were humans created. OMC is the only Bible that I see as far as the year 2020 that gives perfect description of it and then you can actually use mathematics of today to go backward based on the figures they give to see if it was accurate or not i'll be very very honest if this microsoft math did not meet up did not come up with something you know did not meet up to the standard i tell you i would dump the opposite I would dump the herbs in the garbage, but I cannot. You know why? Um, the timeline is accurate, and the OFC Bible was channeled by angels of wisdom, angels of knowledge, angels of understanding. They see our world, and most of them probably lived in our world before. And they graduated from the first resurrection heaven to second heaven. And from second heaven, they were able to choose one person who they, John Nubo, who they told to, you know, to go clean up themselves. And after he did, they were able to channel this information to him. Brothers and sisters, here you have it. About 79,000 years ago, humans started coming forth because Samu was Samu started around that time or absolutely recall 78,000 years ago was when the first of the race of man were created were created you know that was you know it was healthy around that time uh 76,750 years ago Samu stopped so during that after right then they couldn't humans cannot just keep on you know popping out you know because the creator take Semu out because the angels had sex with the Asuans and you know and then about 3,000 years later the act of one started when Sanctity and the host of angels um, came to govern us but before that the angels were here already that's the critical point though you know and I noticed a lot of OFC students and OFC readers th think that it was during the act of one when angels came down. That's not true. The angels before the act of one, before 73,750 years ago, they came down already. Because they were told to come teach as swans how to talk. To know who they are. Because the swans had no knowledge. They had no conscience of who, who they are. So the angels have to come and bring the humans up, the assurance up. No different how when a baby is born. The baby is no nothing. So the, the, the surrounding, the brothers and sisters, the family members had to bring this baby up. That's how it was. So the brothers and sisters of the assurance at that time were angels. So they were told to come lift their swans up. But unfortunately, some of them did not have, did not live a corporeal life. So they did not understand. 
and they got tempted and you know some of them got tempted because you know so they had sex with their sons and that's how you came up with a new race called man in which you actually describe as irons brothers and sisters here you have it light and peace now on my next video i'll talk about rapture what exactly is rapture the rapture time does it happen physically when next is the rapture time that will be my next video light and peace brothers and sisters bye bye now